Hare Krishna. So, uh, many people tell that uh, we came in this world empty-handed and we are going to go up from this world empty-handed. Hmm? Many film songs are there uh, like this. We came empty-handed, we are going to go empty-handed. Hmm? But actually we did not came in this world, we did not come in this world empty-handed. Hmm? And neither we are going to go empty-handed. Hmm? So you might be thinking that uh, how is it so? Hmm? We cannot see anything that we brought from the previous world hmm, when you took birth. Hmm? So how is it possible? Hmm? So yes, there are four things which we have come with. Hmm? We did not come empty-handed. Hmm? We came with four things which are not directly visible. And we are going to go from this world with these four things. So none of us comes empty-handed. We bring these four things with us when we take birth. And these four things are not physically visible. But these four things are subtle. So what are these four things that we, we have come with and we are going to take with us? So the first thing is the subtle body. It is also called as Shukshma Sarir in Hindi. Shukshma Sarir. Subtle body is made up of mind, intelligence and ego. So these are the three things out of uh, of which the subtle body is made of mind intelligence and ego so when the body is destroyed the gross body is actually destroyed the subtle body is not destroyed when death comes the gross body that we can see from outside that body is destroyed not the subtle body so, the, the subtle body which is made up of mind, intelligence and ego, we come with that in this world. We cannot see mind, we cannot see intelligence and we cannot see physically ego. But these three things do exist. We can easily experience it. So, subtle body is the first thing. So, jisko lekar hum log aaye the aur isko lekar bhi jayenge. Subtle body. So, ye subtle body ke baad, second, jo chich aata hai. The second thing is, the karmic account. The karmic account. So, everybody is under the influence of law of karma. Whatever action we do, the reaction we are going to face. As we sow, so we reap. So the karmic account, the pap punya account that we have done in our previous lives, that account of karma, the account of pap karya and punya karya, the pious activities and sinful activities, karmic account that we come with from our previous life to this life and people take that same karmic account to the next life. So karmic account is the thing, is a thing with which one comes in this world and with that karmic account is going to go to the next body or the next world. So this is the second thing. The karmic account, which consists of the past sinful activities and the pious activities. So the karmic account is the second thing. The third thing is the influence of the modes. The influence of the modes. We know that there are three modes of material nature. 
the mode of goodness, the mode of passion, and the mode of ignorance. These are the three modes of material nature. Sattva gun, Rajogun, and Tamogun. These three modes influence a person. Some person may be predominantly influenced by mode of goodness. Some person may be predominantly influenced by the mode of passion. Some person will be predominantly influenced by the mode of ignorance. So, a person, for example, who is too much uh, addicted to women, too much attracted to women and sex, he is influenced by the mode of passion. Suppose, for example, if a person has had in his previous life a lot of sex he did in his previous life. So he was heavily influenced by the mode of passion. Now he took birth in this life. The symptoms of this mode of passion in the form of attraction towards women will be visible. The signs of that, the signals of that will be activated and visible in that person. And that person himself can also uh, see that. Mm -hmm. So, the mode of passion is acting in this case. Mm -hmm. So, he is previously influenced heavily by the mode of passion and that sign is still visible in this life. Mm -hmm. So, like that, the mode of uh, uh, modes influence a person. Somebody in the mode of ignorance. Mm -hmm. He was very much uh, in the mode of ignorance in his previous life. So in this life also, the same effect will be visible. The same signs, uh, the signals of the signs of the mode of ignorance will be reflected in this life also, will be visible in this life also. So the influence of the modes that one carries, that thing we carry from previous life to this life, the influence of the modes of nature, Sattogun, Rajogun and Tamogun. So this is the third thing that we carry, influence of modes. And the fourth thing that we carry from previous birth and we carry to the next birth is the spiritual Sukriti account. The account of spiritual Sukriti. Suppose in his previous life one was a dog and that dog ate prasadam, Krishna prasadam. So he got some Agyata Sukriti. The dog doesn't know that he is getting spiritual pious credit for eating prasadam. But although he does not know, it is akyata, but still it is sukriti that he got. Suppose in previous life, one was a mango tree and somebody uh, offered that, offered the mango from that mango tree to the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. So the mango tree will get Agyata Sukriti. So like that, maybe that in previous life one was a cow and the cow's milk was offered to Lord Krishna. And in that way one gets Agyata Sukriti. So this total accumulation of Agyata Sukriti the spiritual pious credits gets accumulated life after life. And these things remain permanent. The Agyata Sukriti account doesn't get diminished. It is a permanent account. Suppose one offers a flower to the Lord. Unknowingly, he gets Agyata Sukriti, spiritual pious credit. So that accumulates. That does not get destroyed because spiritual things does not get destroyed. The spiritual account, the spiritual Sukriti account is a permanent account. It doesn't get destroyed. So these are the four things that 
we come with from our previous life and we take these four things to the next life. But if one practices bhakti, uh, Krishna consciousness, if one practices Krishna consciousness, then he does not take any of these four things to the next life. Actually, he goes back to the spiritual world completely khali hath, without anything, without these four things also. And he goes in his spiritual body to the supreme abode in the spiritual world. If one practices Krishna consciousness and fully completes his Krishna consciousness, then only it is applicable. Otherwise not. If the Krishna consciousness is half completed or it is incomplete in this life, then it is not applicable. Only in the case when one is completely purified and he has completed his Krishna consciousness realization fully, he has become perfect, then Krishna gives entrance to him in the spiritual world. And while going to the spiritual world, he does not carry any of these four things also. He really goes empty-handed. So therefore, let us try for this perfected situation when one can go back to the spiritual world in order to serve Krishna. Hare Krishna.